2008 Jeep Grand Cherokee. We got a wheel bearing problem here. See? You can hear that? The wheel's moving. So, we were driving, took for, I was driving it, and the, uh, hit a pothole, and I could hear right away, it went plunk, and the wheel had shifted, and was caliper, and the brake rotor probably rubbing somewhere. So, we're gonna take this apart, we've ordered a new one, and we're gonna take it apart and try to go step by step on how to replace it. Wheel. What we're gonna do first off is remove the caliper, the rotor, to expose the hub. Uh, disconnect the ABS wire. Comes up to here, runs through. The connector's right here. So we're gonna disconnect that. And then we can use a slide hammer to slide the hub out. Well, sorry, no, there'll be bolts on the back. Back of the hub. Um, we got the new part right here. So it's always good to have the new part so you can do a comparison um, and also to see where your bolts are. So we'll have three bolts in the back, in the back of the spindle. See? Uh, well, it looks the same. And uh, the bolts are in the back. Let's see if we can see them. Okay. There's one bolt right there. There's one bolt right there. That bolt right there. Second one up top, and there'll be a third one right there. Uh, it looks like a 15. So, we'll get some tools and we'll get at it. Something I wanted to add, these lug nuts. These lug nuts are super annoying. They, they're 19, 19 mil, but this cap, this is a very thin cap on top of the lug nuts just to make them look pretty and shiny. Let's see if you can see one here. See these two, this one, and say this one. Can you see that the difference in one of them? This one's still good, but this one has corroded. So the lug nut inside, basically, the lug nut has corroded and it's become enlarged. And they're really difficult to, to uh, take off sometimes. They get stuck in the socket. So. Take note of that if you uh, haven't changed your lug nuts in a while. Take notice if they're all bloated and swollen. You may want to get new ones and change them. I've unbolted the axle nut already, as well as the cow per bracket bolts in the back. Uh, this is a 36 mil, and the cow per bracket bolts are 21 mil. And I'm just gonna. Right now, quickly, do the um, plug here for the ABS wire. So, right here, this plug, it's got a little red clip here. And what you want to do is just press up right here, this little red tab. So, push it up. So, that pops up. That pops up. And then you can just press this and unclip. If not, because this is the locking tab for this plug. Let's see if we can do it by one handed. Mm. Oh, right here. Let's see. It's a little lot difficult. So I'll press there. And now, there, it comes off. So again, this little red clip here locks in a little tab. This little tab. So you can't you're not able to push the clip for the uh, plug. So you'll have to push that tab up in order to unplug this harness. All right, so we'll carry on, continue with uh, this disassembly. So I've unclipped the wiring harness. So it's dangling here now. Everything all comes apart. Caliper's there, uh, it's a dangling. It should be okay. Uh, I usually would do a bungee, but it seems all right. Um, this rotor, right here. There's a little rubber ring here that's holding the rotor in. A lot of times the rotors are really rusted and they won't come out. But this one's actually loose. Ta-da! There you go. 
pick it off, just reuse it. So, bam, just like that. Rotor down. Try to be nice to the rotor, because you gotta reuse it. So now, our hub is here. I'm gonna unbolt the bolts in the back. Remove the bolts in the back, and I'll show you with the slide hammer afterwards. So, I have the gun set up here with the wobble socket with a little short extension. It's nice to have um, these universal joints, these wobble sockets. Uh, this one's a 15. Uh, you can buy these anywhere. Um, this particular set is from a uh, uh, local supply, tool supplier, friend of ours, techprotools.ca. So shout out to Tech Pro Tools. I'll add a link at the end of the video. So it's nice, it, you know, it, it's uh, angled, so we can bypass the sway bar link and uh, with a little short extension and we can get it. So let's try to remove this. Oh, doesn't want to come out. So let's see, may need a torch to heat up the bolts, but I'm going to try using my Milwaukee electric. This Milwaukee electric right here. These things are amazing. We'll have bolts sometimes that our air gun can't take out. We'll use our electric guns and it'll just like come right up. So let's try this. Okay, there we go. Let's try this. Ready? So I'm lucky. Let's try this. Oops. Check that out. Milwaukee M18 for the win. Which one is this? This is our big one. This is the, um, there you go, 2767-20. These guns are amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love them. So, I'm going to remove the rest of the bolts and we'll continue with the video. Got the bolts out. See the threads? These are the bolts for the, um, the wheel bearing hub. They're a little bit corroded, so what we're gonna do is uh, put it on the wire wheel and clean it back up and um, put some anti seize in there. These have have some anti seize as well already, so we're gonna try to clean up the hole some more. So try to help protect it from corroding as quickly. Okay, we got our slide hammer mounted with the hub adapter, and we're gonna try to slide this out. And go from there. I'm gonna see if I can try to put this down so we can get a view. Hmm. That seems to work. Oh, it's starting to come. Oh, there you go. Just like that. Mind you, this came out really easily because this has been replaced before. So. If it's your first time replacing it, it will won't come out that easily. So see how this is all corroded. So you get with aluminum spindles, and um, yeah, we're gonna try to clean that up to again put some anti seize on it to try to minimize the corrosion. So what happens is if it's never been replaced before, all this corrosion will bite onto the, to the bearing and uh, not release it. So. Always, always, always compare your parts. At least do the best that you can to compare it to make sure that they're the right parts and not, you know, five bolt and four bolt, you know, something crazy. And then you put it all together and not even realize and crap, gotta tear it all apart. So let's see. This one has a part number CBK51324. Let's see what this one has. It's a different brand, I guess, but 513234. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. That's a pretty good indication that they're the same part. So, you know, clean up the spindle and put it back together. We got the new hub back on, backing plate, some anti season in the spindle there on the bolts. I'm gonna tighten it all down and put it all back together. 
copper, everything all bolted up. The uh, ABS harness all plugged back in together. Put the wheel back on, go for a test drive, and make sure that there's no more noise. 